Hey guys, what's up? And today I'm going to show you how to fold my Origami Baby Dragon version 2. So here we go. Okay, so we're going to start by making a really odd reference point. First, let's fold diagonally in half. and unfold the same references as the Caribou 2.2 by Satoshi Kamiya. So we're gonna fold this edge to here and just make a pinch mark like this. Now we're gonna fold this edge up to that pinch mark and unfold. And we're gonna fold this edge up to this pinch mark. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a diagonal fold from this point to this point. And just crease until you get to this line right here. Now we're going to take this edge and fold it like this along where that point from there hit this diagonal line. And now we can make a full crease from this point all the way across. And now what you can do is we're gonna make this a mountain fold and reverse this to a valley fold, turn over and fold this edge down. Now what we're going to do is along this point right here, we're gonna fold this edge over. Like this. And again, do that intersection. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a fold. If we turn it back over through where this line goes, we're gonna go down one and we're gonna make the same folds in this direction as we did at the beginning. So fold this edge along right there like that. Unfold, rotate, do the same thing right here. Like that. Now we're just going to reverse, turn it over and reverse those two pieces so that it's a little bit easier to collapse. Okay, now what we're going to do is. Okay. We are now going to, in right here, we're going to make another fold in this and on both sides that intersects right here. And the same thing on the other side. like this and now what you can do is just turn it over and just plie it like this it should look like this and you can open it. so now we have this right here this little triangle and we're going to turn it over and fold this edge along this edge and we're going to stop when we hit this line right here. So we're basically making a fold here in this triangle and then a fold back down. Crease it back down and do the same thing on the other side. Like 
like this. Now let's turn back over and you'll see that we have these creases. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna have these creases right here. We're gonna skip two segments and we're going to fold this edge to here, this time stopping at the diagonal. Now unfold and we are now going to, let's see. Okay, right here on the crease pattern, you can see this is where we make this. So this comes in here like that. So we can make a fold from this point to this point. And you're going to make it from, if you're wondering what point, you're just gonna go in the middle right there, in the middle of those two, each two triangles. It won't add up perfectly, but it will add up pretty well. If you want to go into a lot of detail, you can make this fold, but I don't recommend going into all that. So now we have all these folds in here and we can now make a fold from this point and fold it down like this to the center line and do the same thing right here like this. And now we're going to turn it back over and Right here, we're gonna extend the fold, but try not to reverse right there, so that this can be the valley fold. And do the same thing on the other side. So that this can stay a mountain fold while these are valley folds. Now we're going to fold in half like this, and it's time to make the details on the head, which are actually not that difficult. So. We're gonna start by, just have it open like this, the paper, folding this edge up to here, unfold, and now right here, we're gonna squash this and turn it over and center it. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna collapse. Normally we would collapse on these creases and fold this all the way up to the top like this, but we're not gonna do that. We are going to unfold, and from that point, we're gonna make creases like this. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. We're gonna make these two creases like that, and then squash it, and it should look like this. The two creases we made were from this point over like this, like that, and like this. And now what we're going to do right here is we're going to squash this little flap and then petal fold it. Like this. Now, completely unfold, and you can strengthen these folds if you want to a little bit, and it should look like this. So, now we just have a couple more folds, I think. No, we're done. We're, we're done pre-creasing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a pleat like this. Pleat this over. And pleat this over. And right here, what we're going to do is we are going to 
find this X right here. Right along there. And where we find that X, we're gonna follow this point down and pop right here up like this and press this in like that. And then we should have this sort of box on top. Now do the same thing on the other side. Pop this up like this and reverse like this. Now we should have this. And what you can do is now extend this to the top and we should now have this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to squash fold this like this, fold this edge up, find this here, this edge here, when we fold this up we're going to have it come with this one and this right here. And then we have this valley fold here. We're gonna make these two mountain folds. And we're just going to shift them. So what we're going to do, we're gonna shift it from this point to this point. Like that. And then we are just going to collapse it down like this. We are now going to take this edge and pop it around like this and just keep it like this for now. And now we're going to collapse this part and we should have this. Now we are going to take this edge and fold it over like this and do the same thing right here, like that. And we're going to open it up right here and we're just gonna squash it like this and squash it in this direction like this and we should have that. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna turn it over and we're going to fold like this. So this edge and this edge and then this edge and this edge all together. Now unfold and open up the model. And we're just going to perform these sinks right here. Like that. Now right here, we're gonna open this up. like this and okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to make a fold from this point to this point and a fold from here like this along the existing creases and this will just collapse in here like this And then it will fold down like this. And now do the same thing on the other side. We are almost done with the base for this model.
this. And now we can just fold this edge up like this. Hold on, let me neaten this up a little bit. It's really hard to have this part neat. It won't exactly fold up straight, so you can just keep it down here like this. And now, just fold in half. And that is the base for the model. Now for shaping, all we're gonna do is just fold this up and just pleat it around like this. And stretch this up at that point like that and now you can make the, this fold and wrap that behind you can fold this up or sink it if you want just thin this And do the same thing on this side. Like this, and then put this flap on top. So basically we have three points. And now right here we have to carve out the eye. So mostly what we're going to do is we're just going to lift this layer like that and do the same thing on this side. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this edge back from this point and it's going to fold so that it aligns. If this was folded down, it aligns like this. Now we're going to open it up and oh it's hard to open up and we're going to make creases like that you can't you can just go around if you want but I like to just go a little bit in a little like this Fold back like this, and then we do the same thing that we did for baby dragon number one. We just open this up, the entire mouth, like that. But this one's easier. You just open this up like this, and just flatten it. And you can shift it down a little bit. Don't shift it down too much. Like this. And there's the head. Now for the wings, all you do is just fold it like this and squash. And fold this down. Do the same thing on this side. Fold this edge down, and you can make a fold like this, and just pleat it. Like this, and sort of around the tip of the wing. Like that. And I'm gonna make a fold in this direction. So it looks like this. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. You can just sort of experiment on the wings. 
I don't exactly have a specific thing that I like to do for them. So. There is what I'm doing for the wings. And then for the tail, the tail is very simple. All you do is reverse fold like this and make a fold right here and turn over and do the same thing. And then you open this up, fold this edge a third of the way down and then fold it over again. Flatten it, then do the same thing on this side. Third and down. So that is the Origami Baby Dragon version 2. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next tutorial. <laughs>